spectacular. Just spectacular. It's even more spectacular than these early astronauts can have imagined, because our dry and dusty moon has at last yielded a huge secret. It's covered in water. It's not dripping in it by any means, but it is there. Hidden stores of water molecules in the moon's top layers. It's not yet the drinking kind. It's not even in liquid form, but it is instead bound up with minerals in lunar dust. Three, two, one, zero, plus one. Yes, the vehicle has lift turned off. The discovery was made by India's lunar craft Chandrayaan-1, launched a year ago on the country's first moon mission, and scientists are thrilled. You have to think outside of the box on this. This is not what any of us expected a decade ago, but widespread water has been detected on the surface of the moon. One of the Chandrayaan probe's main objectives was to search for signs of water, but when it came, it was still a surprise. The unmanned craft was equipped with NASA's Moon Mineralogy Mapper, which looks for water by picking up the electromagnetic radiation emitted by minerals. It's thought earlier missions missed the lunar dust because they didn't look at the Moon's poles. The Erlanger crater near the North Pole is one of the areas being analysed for signs of water. NASA may here be imagining a permanent base on the moon, but, say scientists, the discovery of water brings that a lot closer, as with the right technology, water could be extracted from moon dust and stored ready for lunar visitors. Water that might be used someday by lunar explorers, human lunar explorers who return to the moon, uh, to do science on the moon and perhaps as a stepping stone out into the rest of the solar system. The next generation of rocket is being prepared. The international race to set foot on the moon again is heating up. And now we know there's water. The notion of living there is perhaps no longer so fantastical. Nina Nanar, News at 10.